Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> <laughs> oh god hey dude i can't i can't with this fucking hair oh no, god no, cut it right now i'll cut it right now give me give me a give me a give me some scissors hey how do you think i look with like a bun a man bun you look a fucking <laughs> you'll definitely look like a samurai a you'll definitely look like a samurai hey you already got his ass beat son i think we're ready to start you ready to start i think that was a good spot to start totally Totally, 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 totally. He said, taste my toes, motherfucker. Who's got the tastiest toes in the UFC? <laughs> uh, Shaquille O'Neal. That motherfucker's on the, that motherfucker's on the UFC, bro. <laughs> Whoever fucked with my mic, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. It's pissing me off. I don't, like, she fucked with it. She clearly fucked with it. I don't like it. It's pissing me off. It's it's giving me piss. I don't see anything wrong with it, brother. No, I don't know. It's just not how I. It's not how I do it. Whatever. Whatever. I want some bitch ass shit today? For First real. world problems. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My fucking Starbucks didn't have the fucking nitro cobra today. Like, I told them ninety nine pumps. They only gave me ninety eight. Motherfucker, you think yeah, they could? You think they could tell a difference shit. in that taste? This shit is ass, by the way. What is that? What is, is that? that energy drink I was telling you about? Oh, is it really? It's not it, like it's not ass, but it's not like I, I'll ever get this again. How, does it get you? Uh, does it get you amped up? Does the caffeine do it for you? It has 100, 180 milligrams. 180 milligrams. But I'm only like halfway done. And how does that make you feel? 180 milligrams. Honestly, brother, give me a fucking OG monster, and I'm wired. really wired, huh? See, I don't really feel that with those. Uh, it's because. You still drinking those? I do, totally. The o with the sugar and everything. No, no, not not the OG monster. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. Like, oh, okay. Give me an OG monster. I had one the other day. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's been a it's been a while. So I had one the other day because I was falling asleep, and that shit got me wired. And so when you have monsters, do you typically have those? No, I ha usually have like either the blue one or the white one or any sugar free one. Okay. The okay. blue one's like six. Oh, dude, yeah, I could just imagine that. That OG monster will get that OG wired. like sixty four grams of sugar, plus the caffeine. Oh fuck, Eddie. Fuck. That's like a pressing the nitrous on that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but no, dude. But what's been cracking me out recently is uh, Dunkin' coffee. Yeah, I know because you get like, you know, I wonder what sugars in that coffee. Yeah. Let everyone know the order, and and then we can calculate the shit. <laughs> it's it's nothing crazy. It's just a uh, a large. Coffee, large iced coffee, mm -hmm. with two hazelnut, two coconut, and three caramel. That's it. No milk, nothing. I wonder how much. Would, would it bother you to know how much sugar was in it? I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look after, but not tell you, just so I know for myself. No, I'll look too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally gonna like oh, that shit's good as hell I'm gonna keep getting it see Let's what I think real. you need to do is you need to go on the TikTok University and just search best iced coffee Dunkin Donut and then people will but I like the one that I ordered no I know but I, good. Feel, I know but like you're such the you're such the type of person to never try something new what do you mean we've been to Augie's like three times you've got the same pizza three times it's good yeah I know but how many times have you been to Dunkin has something new uh, I'll get a new donut. I'll get a different type of donut. <laughs> go, go on TikTok. Find something you think you like and go try it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how much these white girls be knowing they don't get donuts for <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Trust the white girls, I guess. Trust the white girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're right. I can't wait to get rid of this hair. Like, it was manageable, like, last month, like, early, early June. To where it wouldn't be falling on my face like this all the time, but like at work, oh fuck, dude, I'd be, be doing this all day. Oh, you're like, like a stallion. Ah, oh, fuck. You're, you're like a stallion whipping its and mane. Sometimes back I'll and be forth. doing this just to get as much down, and I just go like that, and I just whip it back, and then everyone makes fun of me. That's erotic. Is it erotic, or is it like kind of like. It's literally a stallion whipping its mane back and forth. I'm what, picture, what, I'm what's picturing it called? A, that stupid little fucking mohawk? It's not a mane. I'm an idiot. Is a it a mohawk? Mane? Yeah. 
you know the, that the little streak of hair horses have on the back of their head <laughs> what's that called <laughs> I don't know. A hair? A I mohawk. Heard of, I've heard of like a lion's mane. That's like a lion's hair. I think you're right. I think you're totally right the first time. Mane? Yeah. Because huh. you heard like a lion's mane. That's lion's hair. Lion's fur. Horses are fucking cool. What What are your thoughts on on like cats being descendants of snakes? Cats being descendants of snakes. Huh. Instead of cats being descendants of like a lion or something. Uh, snakes? No. That seems weird to me. So if you look at like a tiger or a lion, okay, male or female, okay, they got circular eyes. Like all types of cats that mm-hmm. aren't house cats have circular type of eyes. And then you look at a house cat, they have slits like snakes. Oh, okay. I get, I understand what you're saying. And they're very like agile, you know? Okay, and yes. They can twist their body and shit like a snake would. Very fast, too. But how many types of <coughs> Wild cats can do that same exact thing. All cats do that shit. There you go. Like, look at this little piece of shit cat. Oh, my God. But I feel like it's closer because there's that there's that connection of four limbs and fur. And with with a snake, no limbs and scales. You know? I know, but kind of like evolution. So, that's why I'm saying, like, over time, they kind of uh, evolved into that. Still kept the, the nice reflexes. You know, ability to move their body really fast, the eyes to really see, pierce, piercing eyes to see things. I wonder how they lost, how they lost the limbs. It's kind of like a lizard too, you know. Lizards got the eyes, but now they got feet and shit. It just happens. They just outgrow it. They, out, they outgrow their arms, huh? <laughs> You're outgrowing your arms. Their arms are a huge advantage. I don't know what I'm Snakes thinking. Are like stupid for that. I'm thinking like. Someone way, way back then somehow breeded a snake and a cat. And then Hey, 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 who who was who was taken and who was receiving? Who was given who was receiving in that situation? I think the snake gotta be receiving. You think so? Yeah. Why? It just give me the vibe. I feel like the snake would just <laughs> crawl into its fucking ass or something. <laughs> I'm dying. You think the snake would crawl? But he'll, he'll like he'll like reverse into his ass. But do snakes have <laughs> sex? I mean, they gotta reproduce. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know exactly how Can they. Can we do look it. up snakes having sex? <laughs> <laughs> they got the strap on them. <laughs> oh, so they, oh, they be like intertwined. Oh, oh they be twirled. Oh up. my god. Mm. Damn, they be twirled up a world up, baby. So one of them got like a little dick? They look like a braid. Well, I'm sure he's got... When he's cock hard, I bet you he's solid. Because <laughs> it's got to get in there somehow. Someone like on TikTok said, oh, this is for educational purposes only. So it was they allowed it. So big ass tortoise. Have you seen that video? I haven't. It's doing its mating dance. It's like standing on its dick. This thing's massive. <laughs> His tripod. Dude, it's massive. But it's so weird shaped and disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh, I remember my tortoises. They had huge cocks. But they were weird, right? Oh, yeah. They looked like fucking... Alien. Graboids. Yeah, they looked like aliens. Yeah, it was fucking weird. So I'm sure a snake might be, might be fucking packing you. But they were definitely circumcised, it seemed like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. They got their hoodie cut. <laughs> they come out like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. I think so. But it spanned the length of their body. That's what's crazy. It's weird, right? Like, damn, dog. Imagine. They pack and pack in. They pack in. Do you think, like, animals worry about how big their dick is? No. You know? Well, but then again, you got to think about, because animals also have, like, Mating social dancing. structures and everything, too, within yeah, their societies. Yeah, they have the dances and shit. You know? Yeah. And so, I don't know. Maybe. You th- well, what, you think they're ugly? You think you think animals think they're ugly? Do you, th- do you think other animals are like, hey, that fucker smells right there? And they like they make fun of them, you know? Yeah, dude. Animals are bullies too, so I feel like they have the same like social fucking kind of they're just not as smart as us. Hey monkey be smart though. <laughs> there was like a video of like of <laughs> a gorilla and then like his wife like bends over and he just like slaps her ass and I thought it was so funny. I was like I was like, we're all the same. Dude, a guy at work. <laughs> 
a guy at work asked me the question of uh, it was around the time when the newest Planet of the Apes was coming out. Okay. And he said, if a situation like that occurred, who do you think would win, us or chimps? Us. And I told him, are you stupid, buddy? <laughs> no. They, chimps don't even have a chance, yo. Not, not a chance. Not a chance, buddy. Get fucking smoked. And the thing is, is that this only takes place in America. Uh huh. You know, like the movie only takes, like, there'd be so many other countries, like, fucking the, fuck the fucking monkeys. You know, like China, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Shoot, hell no. Monkeys start taking over, they'd fucking eat them. For real. <laughs> Hey, we got excess monkey here today. <laughs> excess monkey here today. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, they don't give a shit. But, those are only the monkeys that they infected with that. I don't know enough about the Planet of the Eights movies to, to comment. I would say I've never seen a single one of them. So pretty much what happened, this one chimp, a smart chimp, he, he found this serum that was being used, tested on chimps to see if they can become smarter. So he found the serum and he spread it within like the the compound of where the chimps were being held uh-huh. and that's where he started like a little rebellion. And then it got bigger and bigger and bigger. But I'm think, oh, you know what? I think it got to a point to where he was rolling these fucking serums out uh-huh. and giving them to a bunch of chimps. And all these chimps getting smarter, getting more agile, getting fucking crazy. And they're talking and shit. Yeah. They kind of talk like cavemen. Says our bad. Says our love. I think it's pretty That's his name, right? I think it's pretty sick. It's Caesar? Yeah. Yeah. Why am I saying Cesar? Cesar. Maybe they maybe they spoke <laughs> Spanish. Maybe, maybe that is their their or language of origin. <laughs> oh my god! What's what's the first language? First language in the world. Sex. That was deep, bro. That was real deep. You think so? Yeah, that was deep. That was nice. Why? Because it's true, probably. It is true. Like a like a, a body connection. You know? Or a fight. <laughs> Do you think other humans were scared of each other at first? Totally. See, like, in my head, I don't believe this caveman shit. Why? It just doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense about it? We're fucking stupid ass humans versus animals that already know how to kill and shit. Okay. Where where the fuck do we come from? Where the few the where the first human come from? I feel like we were just put here, like someone dropped a gang of us down and just like <laughs> survive on like some one hundred shit. It's like someone decided to play Call of Duty Zombies and boop. No, but appear. it's like, it's like no way. No way. Why not? I just, I just don't believe it. Because they say, like, we evolved from monkeys, right? So do you think, like, go back to the social, the social uh, construct, you know, we're fishing the needle line here, going full circle. Um, do you think that when we came out with less hair, they're like, oh, that motherfucker ugly. Oh, that motherfucker, oh, that motherfucker ugly. Ugh. Yeah, totally. Get this fucking skin motherfucker out of here. And that's why I got to a point where um, some some civilizations over time would treat the people that would come out with defects differently because of it. You mean like Hitler? Oh, totally. Oh my god, terrible. Take, take he would take him out, dude. That's fucked up. But so, it's true. So do you think that like they kind of the monkeys kind of outcasted the the skinwalkers? And then they had to learn how to survive on their own. The skinwalkers, huh? Yeah. Do you think that they had to learn... <coughs> oh, my God. To survive on their own. That's why we evolved so much better than them. That's why they stayed put. Does that make sense? No, I'm not understanding you. So they were already comfortable with how they lived. <clears throat> and then eventually the skin, these skinned monkeys started coming out. They started pushing them out, like, oh, get, get these weirdos out of here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So then we're already on our own, and we had to, like, fend for ourselves. So our bodies, each new generation was just getting smarter and smarter. Oh, 100%. You know? Yeah. Do you think that's what happened? Totally. We would, we would probably send spies. We would probably send spies over, hey, 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 go check that place out. You know? 
and then like take ideas or something to to get our civilization rolling for sure i i would say so it's, it's very there's just so many answers that you like i wish you would know not you personally but like we would know as a as a as a whole yes yes <laughs> yes like what just like everything like i want to know how it all happened i want a documentary on it go back in time from beginning to end it. yeah or from beginning to now i guess i wouldn't want to know the future i'd rather just know the past I'm always stuck in the past. I might as well, you know. Might as well just get more stuck in it. You would want to go to the past? Yeah. Hmm. Just to see. No, the future would be cool. Become a millionaire. <clears throat> Bajillion and gillionaire. Well, totally. You, you, you'd tell yourself, like, hey, bro. Bet on all this shit. Fuck bet on all this shit. Like, put a dollar on Bitcoin in 1924. And just don't touch it until 2020. And sell it. <clears throat> it's a dollar. Yes. Yeah. Totally, 100%. I'd be giving myself all the tips. Would you, like, tell yourself, like... But, if okay, I did that, on, that would on. alter the whole trajectory of my life, don't you think? Oh, totally. But, but... Let's say, like, you go back when Bitcoin first came out, like, in the early thousands. You're way too young. Okay. I don't think you're... I don't think you would remember. I think you would have to somehow convince your dad... Shoo, my that, dad? In 2004, buying Bitcoin? <laughs> Is it, is it in the yellow pages? I think you would somehow have to convince your dad, like, Dad, this is me. In the future, I can prove it. I can show you everything right now. I got photos of us and all this shit. I need you to go put a couple hundred on Bitcoin right now. And don't touch it till 2020. See, but... And thank me later. In doing that, that changes the trajectory of my dad's life. <laughs> Yeah, rich as fuck. Because no, but not only that. Now he, now he knows. Like, oh man, who is this guy? How, how did he come to me? Is he actually from the future? Maybe he becomes schizo after that. No, but then you have to just explain to him like everything. The fuck was that? Small power out there. <coughs> I think that'd be that'd be pretty dope. I got a scratch in my throat. Would you do that? Oh uh, yeah. I would do that. Okay, but. Obviously, can't have everything without a cost, you know. But uh -huh. what what do you think it would take away, or what do you think it would change if you did do that? Everything has an effect. Right. So we probably wouldn't even be friends right now. Because I I I probably would have never met you, unless we both did it, and then they said, "Oh, these guys are the two richest guys in the world off of Bitcoin," and then we would talk <laughs> off of that, and then we started this podcast again. Because I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of the butterfly effect. Oh, one, totally. One little change changes everything. Firm believer. I feel like it would be a good change. But all the... All the so this is, this is your thing. <coughs> would you be willing to lose all the connections you've ever made from this point to that year? So, like, the only connection that you have are from whatever year you went to to tell your dad or whatever are you willing to lose all those connections from now to 2004 are you willing to lose it all I'm starting over it's like starting over in life the thing is you, you wouldn't remember it you wouldn't so would you be willing to lose all that <clears throat> for some dough for some dough new connections new connections more no <laughs> no I wouldn't say, no I don't think I would either I wouldn't no way I bet you it's like erasing the memory I bet you memory. we're on the lower half of people saying that there's a definitely more percentage of people say fuck everybody give me that give me that bread <laughs> hey, and maybe we're being hey, a little stupid I was contemplating it I was contemplating it there for a second you know but also <clears> I think <throat> maybe things change in the heat of the moment you know what I'm saying put a duffel bag in front of me we'll talk <laughs> What's up with like Floyd like walking around the million dollars cash? Like, <clears throat> I feel like just a, a group of dudes. You know, like how like a group of people just go to like CVS and just completely ransack it. Yeah, yeah. He's only got like four security guards. They run like forty deep. If they can run forty deep to a CVS and steal a bunch of shit, why can't they just forty deep on Floyd Mayweather and just jump him, take his million dollars? Forty v ten. Easy. Because I think that's what I would. That's what I assume his group would be like ten. 
I feel like that's easy. But if those if those forty untrained versus those ten highly trained, what do you think is winning? I, I'll, I'll probably give cl- it to the ten. It'll be a close one, but I'll put him. I'll, I'll put him for the ten. Yeah, I'll give it to the shoulders. ten. His bodyguard would be big as fuck too. Heck yeah, and he's a and he's a fighter himself, so he's in the mix too. Forty one or eleven, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was counting him in the ten. Oh okay, <laughs> never mind. Ten. <laughs> so Floyd Mayweather's posse versus forty hoodlums. Forty hoodlums. Who are we taking here? Oh, this would be perfect for Deadliest Warrior. Dude, that show was awesome. <laughs> that show was lit. They I love that, that they shit. They need to bring that shit back. They need to put it on Netflix. Yeah, the first episode, 40 Hoodlum versus Floyd Mayweather's uh, <laughs> posse. <laughs> His protection pack. They need to put that show out somewhere. Like Netflix, I would watch that shit. What happened to it? TNT, baby. Shit didn't exist no more. Budge, man. That was a good show. I think they do, actually. TNT totally exists. I'm just being stupid. That was on Spike. Was it? I'm pretty sure. Whatever, dude. It was a good show. A Thousand Ways to Die. Good as fuck too. Great too. That that was a that was a great that put a great stamp on my on my history and as a child, for sure. Like they're fumbling the bag with shows for sure. Actually, shows are taking off. Bear. Legit. I watched two episodes yesterday. Legit. I, I haven't seen any of it. I don't got no Hulu. I got no Hulu, but you got my login. Come on. I got no. I got. I, I got logged out. I got no Hulu. I'm sorry. No, I don't use this Hulu. Do you want it to watch the bear? It's really good. Totally. Okay. <laughs> I'll send it to you later. No fucking free shit though. No one get my shit. Only holds your. Oh my god. I got a new dog yesterday. I got some. I got some things to say about that dog. Super chill. Super lax. And I was a little worried because it sleeps a lot, like a shit ton. Uh-huh. So I looked it up. I was like, it's okay if my fucking puppy sleeps a lot. And it says, yeah, puppies usually sleep around 18 hours a day. And I was like, holy shit. This motherfucker, oh, damn, boy, this, living a good life. This motherfucker sleep a lot. It's a girl, so. But a girl's going to be a motherfucker, too, for real. Yeah, she a motherfucker. Yeah, so she's sleeping a lot. So yesterday, <laughs> I took my girl home. And I was like, okay, it's like 12 o'clock. Bedtime. Let's go outside, dog. Because the dog already went outside twice to go to the bathroom. Like, it already knows. Played around and just laid on the floor and went to sleep. And I was like, yeah, I've been out here 10 minutes. If it's not going to go pee, it's not going to go pee. So, I'm also trying to crate train it. <clears throat> so, I put in the crate with a pad down, like a, a piss pad. <clears throat> just in case. And I go right into bed. And then I smell something. I couldn't have been in bed in like more than 30 seconds. It took a shit in there. I was like, bro, we've been outside for 10 minutes. Like, you couldn't take your shit outside. You just had to shit right here. It got scared. It got scared. So I had in to the go dark. clean that shit up. It Ridiculous. Got, it got scared in the dark. And it shitted on my bed yesterday. Oh my God, dude. But luckily, like, it shit is like solid. It's not wet at all. So I just took the sh- like, I took the shit off. Took the sheet off. No stains. Didn't smell. Just that ah, fucking new sheet. Easy. Light work. But hey, hey, I'll tell you what, you're a better man than me. You're a better man than me. <laughs> you just leave it? You- <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm disinfecting or something. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Want some water, bro? I think I should go. I'll go get some. So what's this pup name you told me earlier? <clears throat> Ella. Is that the one you told me earlier? Ella, yeah. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Ella, huh? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You look like a possum. A few things about this dog. Hopefully it doesn't piss right here. That'd be pretty epic. Low key. Knock on wood. So, about this dog, I think it's deaf. You think it's deaf? I Why? think it's deaf. It doesn't rat. Like, I was playing, uh, I was like, I'm going to play some death rat. Just so it gets used to it. Didn't, never made a sound. Okay. So yesterday that cat scratched my foot so bad it like sunk its claws into me and wouldn't let go and I screamed. Not a not a thing. Watch. Ah! Ah! Nothing. What do you expect it to do? Get scared. Scream back at you. Get scared. Ella, come here. Well, it obviously didn't speak English yet, but you know. She's just getting acclimated with everything. She's a pup. I'm hoping she's not deaf. Nah, she's fine. She's cooling. What if she was deaf? Then she's deaf. 
She'll find her way. Evolution. I guess. Like what happens like when an intruder comes out and needs to like be detached or something? It's just not gonna hear it. It's just gonna be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why you need to get those supersonic um, vibration door whatever thingies. So if somebody breaks through the door, it, it sends vibrates. it sends a wavelength. That I think she'll find her way. Yeah, she'll find her She's way. She's super chill though. She'll be fine. She don't she'll do much. Fine. She just she just walk around. She just be she be doing her. She really just be sleeping. That's it. Yeah. 18 like, hours a day yeah but like it wants me a lot it's like I'm her father now good it knows you are her father how you doing though chillin that deaf ass dog chillin I did I did accidentally <clears throat> so like my sister's cat I'll just like kind of grab it and just kind of like toss it it's a cat like they land you know I did that to the dog yesterday in the crate I felt so bad oh my god it was that's, fine though that's fucked up I'm it calling fine. ASCPA what is that you said that shit yesterday I don't know what the fuck that is <laughs> that's the uh, <laughs> you know that that the most sad advertisement with the uh, Sarah McLaughlin food's here sorry you, you mind taking the dog then after <laughs> anywho I don't know I gotta hey yours look good you look good huh I got a chicken one. I'm ready to get into that thing. There's supposed to be gravy on this hoe. Ain't no gravy on this hoe. This is what we do out here, for real. Yeah, this is what we do. It's what y'all here for. You already know. If you're here, you know. Ugh. Fucking hair, dude. I'm so done with this shit. So done with hair. I'm going bald. How is it? Dank? Mid? This shit more overcooked than my butthole. God damn, this shit got hell. This is very much dank. Very much dank. I'm very disappointed. I will say it again. Very much dank. My shit is dry as shit. I thought the cat was gonna be nice to it. Hissed at it right away. I was like, bro, you're you're two months old. How do you know the dog's your enemy already? You know? Mm -hmm. I was hoping they'd be friends. That cat's a motherfucker. For they real. will be friends. I hope. It just uh Takes time. The cat got to get acclimated too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not like a. It's not like you prep the cat to 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 have someone new. It was just a random ass thing. The cat didn't. That cat didn't know where you were going. Suddenly, you come back with a dog. Like, oh fuck! <laughs> what is this? It keeps hissing at it though, and it keeps like arching its back, and all the. All hair stands up. It's hates that motherfucker. It's like real. two. It's like two little clit, two little kids out on a playground. What? No, they're just like younger. You know, they're like babies. It's like two little kids out on a playground. One of them is fucking. Hey, bro. Fuck. And the other one's like, "Fuck you." Yeah. The cool kid. The other one's like, "Get out of here, bro." Push. Punches them in the face. What makes a cool kid? What makes a cool kid. And you know, there's, there's like that that one popular kid in school. What makes someone cool? I think, I think. Like, oh, there's Jared. Everybody likes Jared. <laughs> no, well, there's people that everybody just likes them. Right? I'm talking about like Mr. Popular, though. You know. Have you ever met some? Have you ever met somebody that uh, that literally nobody nobody has said. I've never met him, but Moses. Moses. Totally. From what you told me, everyone loves Moses. Moses. Everybody loves Moses. I like Moses. That's the best dude ever. I never met him, but he's cool. He's the chillest, kindest guy ever. He's got good memes, for real. He got the memes, for real. He's probably watching this, too. Shout out, Mo. Yeah, for real. When was the last time you saw him? <coughs> I believe about, like, two weeks ago. No, he gets down with the Smash Bros. Are you trying to, to train to beat him? <coughs> no. Can you beat him? I can at times. Is it more luck or is it because you got him? No, I think I think our skill is pretty equally matched. Sometimes he gets me, sometimes I do. Kind of just depends on the uh, the the variables. You know what I'm saying? I need to hop on that. You need to hop on that. That's that thing, dude. That's I need that to hop thing. On that. I never you, played it. Because when you really get into it, and brother, I'm telling you, I've told you this time and time again. I feel like that is a game that you would be good at. I feel like I just have to like enjoy it. 
Do you know the characters and shit? Yeah. I think I don't really know any of the characters. Like, well, from from the games and stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, Super Mario, Donkey mm -hmm. Kong, Luigi. There's just a lot of them I don't know in there. Oh, I know the totally. Mario ones. There's a lot I don't know either. Because okay. I, I, I never played those games, but I like using those characters. Because those characters, I mean, they got um, different moves and stuff like that. Oh. So they all play differently. Who's your go-to, like, player? The character? My go-to? I really like... I think her name is Paulatina. She's like this... I'll show you, actually. Paulatina? Yeah. What does she do? I think she's like a queen of some sort. Not exactly sure. Her. What's her moveset? What do you mean? Like, what does she do? Why do you like using her? She's got this one specific move where um, she can light people on fire from a distance. I like that. So do you play And also online? her recovery. Her recovery is really, really good as well. What's that? Her recovery as far as, like, if I get thrown off the stage, oh, her recovery to up. get back on uh -huh. is, is, is good. She got long reach? Yeah, totally. I don't play online because honestly, I would get wrecked, and I'm just uh, my Wi-Fi. Oh, is this, isn't there like tears? My Wi-Fi ain't about that. Oh, that's right. So if you play against like a computer, do you put on max difficulty? Yeah. Okay, so you're you're up there. Um, I'm typically losing. Hey, but that's how you're gonna get better. I'm typically losing, and it's those rare few times where I do feel like, depending on the character that is chosen for the CPU, uh -huh. it just smashes me. Because some characters are better than others. I'm not feeling well. I gotta go throw up. Okay, totally. I, I will be right back. Totally, I'm brother. So no worries. I think I'm pregnant. It's awesome. Congratulations. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Is that food, huh? That sandwich? You think? Nah, I started like coughing and shit earlier. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I think you're pregnant for real, Zeus, bro. Hey, put them glasses back on, boy. <laughs> I look depressed, I, right? I can't. <laughs> I can't. Dude, I'm telling you, like, okay, ready? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look away. Okay. When I tell you, look, look at my face, okay? And tell me if my eyes look weird without glasses, okay? Go. <laughs> don't I look fucking weird without glasses? No, you just did at that moment. I don't know what it was. You look. You definitely looked. Uh, yeah, you looked different. Bro, should I put my hair up? I'm getting real tired of it. In a little man bun? Yeah, but in the back though, you know. You look like the, you look like the samurai from Mulan. I look the, like the, male the, the lead. fat one. The male lead. <laughs> the fat one. No, the male lead. All right. Dun 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 dun. I don't know the songs. Do you? I don't. I, I didn't watch like, growing up. No kids movies, nothing, none of that shit. So like, I never. Cause everyone's like, oh, you never seen that movie? It's like, no, motherfucker, I didn't watch was, that shit. It was all Thousand Ways to Die and Deadliest Warrior. I, I was watching, like, Deadliest Warrior, Rob Beardick, Fantasy Factory Porn. Oh, my God. <laughs> shit like that. But, uh, yeah, never, no Disney movies. Like, I only recently started watching Disney movies. Is that because of your child? Yeah. Inside Out was good, bro. That shit was good. You should watch that. Fuck Maxine. Inside Out too. Fuck, fuck Maxine. Watch that shit. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. What is Maxine about? I do want to watch it. Because I remember I saw it in the theater, in the trailer, and I was like, oh, that shit was good. So Maxine is pretty much like a, um, <clears throat> I guess, sequel to the movie X. Did you did you watch that one on Netflix? I did. So A sequel? Well, I, it's kind of, it, it's a, it's a spinoff of that movie. Okay. And there's a spinoff of those called Pearl. You know what I mean? Okay. The girl. They're all like intertwined. Yeah, because I remember watching the, <clears throat> remember watching the trailer and the girl she wanted to be an actress, right? Yes. And I was like, it kind of gives me the same vibe. So I guess that makes sense. That's cool. But they're like they they're all intertwined, but in different timelines. Okay. And um, this one, I believe, she's trying to be a a Hollywood star. And it becomes a slasher film. So do you think this Maxine chick kind of brings that shit with her? If you're basing it off the X, the X movie? Do you think she's bringing the bad vibes? I, um, 
Does she have the bad energy? Mm. I don't think so. I think that's just kind of more of like the director's doing a a, a slasher film type of movie. Uh-huh. Because X gave those vibes of like very, very cheesy. It was good. Totally good. I liked it. Uh-huh. But it gave off like typical like old school slasher film. Yeah, that, but it was too predictable. You know? Everything yeah. was way too predictable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that no one died from that fucking crocodile pissed me off. <laughs> like, you got a big ass crocodile in there and no one died from it? No way. Did that black guy die? How'd he die? Kid Cuddy? Was that Kid Cuddy? That was Kid Cuddy. Oh, shit. We'll fuck her pack here, baby. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. You got the hog on him. Childish Gambino is a great actor. Is he? Oh, Where yeah. have you seen him in? He's in tons of movies now. He has more, like, movie awards than, than music awards. Really? Yeah, he he made, like, a, a joke about it the other night. Which movies has he been in? I don't know. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But I've, I know he's been in a lot of movies recently. And he goes by Donald Glover, right? Yes, yes, yes. I guess you can look up his IMBD or whatever it's called. IDBM? <clears throat> yeah. ICBM? <laughs> It is IDBM, right? I don't know. It's one of those. IMDB. <clears throat> Damn, we're both wrong idiots. Solo, a Star Wars story, Guava Island, Atlanta, Community. I've never heard of any of these. Hey, but he be in movies, bro. He really about it. He really about it? But maybe I'm just not with the, with the, with the current day culture like that. I don't know. But yeah, so I guess he has like more movie awards than music awards, and he's like, "Isn't that fucking weird?" That's sick, though. Good yeah. for him. That's badass. That's badass. He found a. <clears throat> he found a different route to the road. Did you see that that photo I sent you of, uh, Bronny, getting drafted over another teammate of his? Yes, yes, yes. Isn't that fucking insane? That is insane. And he already has a contract. He has a contract already. But the first rookie to have a contract. It's the backing of the name, baby. It's God. the back end of the name. He earned this off a of hard work. Bro, I averaged two points a game, bro, when the other his team averaged 16 points a game. But I also don't think that Bronny played as much. Yeah, because he was probably on the bench. Yeah, but that goes to show. But it's like, how come your teammate didn't get drafted? Right, right, right. Every All those stats were better. How do you think he's going to do in the league? I told you, I think he might get embarrassed, for real. You think? Yeah. Embarrassed in what way? Not good. Like, Okay. Like, not good. Hmm. Definitely not Mellow status, though, huh? No. Hell no. It's crazy that nowadays... Mellow got, Mello got game. It's crazy that, that nowadays... I'm not saying this is me, but if you go to a, kid, a younger kid, you're like, hey, you like Mellow? They'll think of LaMelo, not Carmelo Anthony. Holy fuck. Because to me, <laughs> Mello, oh, yeah. Mello is still Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> bless you, bless you. Thank you. Totally. Totally. Okay, see, but, but Nuggets. To, to these younger Knicks. kids, Mellow is now the Mellow Ball. That's that's very sad. That's very sad. Very sad. Why? Because Mellow was really fucking good. Hey, La- sadly, the La- Mellow Ball is nice too. <sighs> Something about Carmelo Anthony is just different than Lamelo. He was never hated. He never won a ring. I know, but he was never hated. You know, <clears throat> Lamelo is hated. But I think that's just because of the back, his background, like and how he came into the league. Like his dad. Yeah. And how cocky he was in high school. Nah, I don't think it's that exactly. Because I mean, there there are a lot of players that were hated, but that did have a lot of fans as well. Like who? Christian Leitner. Yeah, but I think that was because he was white. He was real fucking hated, but he had a big fan base as well. Yeah, but do you think it's because he was white? Like, those those rednecks kind of liked him. No. I don't know that boy Chris Lager. And he was just a bit, he Most was, hated. Or, uh... He was for real most hated, though. He was for real most hated, bro. Who else? Bill Lambier, but he was just a villain. What about... Larry Bird? Well, him too. Was he hated? But when, when you're such a big spectacle like that, you have so many, like, uh... So many people giving their input, it kind of... It makes this... It broadens out the sea. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And so it seems like it's so much, but in reality, it's about half and half. You get what I'm saying? 
Yeah, but I feel like most of the hate is like from the rival fan base as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't have that anymore, sadly. There's no rivalry anymore. There's no aggressiveness in the game. I want to see some people beat their ass, you know? Hell yeah, Like, Draymond man. doing it right. D- Draymond... In a, in a sense. Uh, yes, yes. He's doing it right. So is Grayson Allen. <laughs> I know people give him a lot of shit, but I'm a big Grayson Allen fan. You know? Oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, being dirty, it's it's a little fucking weird, right? It's being dirty, obviously. But I think it's it, it adds a grit to the game, you know? See, but that's being dirty. That's not aggressive, because, like... If you think back in those times, they'd be aggressive with each other. Like, they'd be pushing each other and shit. Each yeah, other. but that's... But Grayson what, Allen's just doing it to hurt the person. But that's, that's what people call dirty when, when he'd be, like, being real rough with them and stuff like that. Okay, maybe putting your foot under somebody's somebody's jump. That's that's a little fucked you know, up. You like, Draymond right? kicks Steven Adams in the nuts three times? No, but, dude, they used to do that back in the day. Bill Lambeer, he was notorious for, for putting placing his feet under somebody when they would jump. So, so they would fucking break their leg or something? Their ankles. So they could fucking pop their shit. I'm talking about Draymond kicking Steven Adams in the nuts. Oh, that too. Or like finding his own teammates. Wild. That is wild. Hey, but he was right though. He was defending his honor, I guess. Beat his ass. He did beat his ass. Did he deserve didn't he, it? Didn't he leak his dick pic on the internet? He did. He leaked his own cock pic. It's pretty big, right? He's legendary, bro. He's was legendary. It was, pretty, it was pretty massive. I think it was Godzilla. Nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and he does have a... He, he is a three-time champion. And then you got Clay going to the Mavs. That's wild. He's chasing that bag for sure. Oh, he's, he's chasing cha- the ring. He's chasing the ring. He's ring chasing. For sure. And honestly, I think that's a that's perfect. That's a bitch. That's a bitch move. That's a good. That's a good spot for him. No, that's a that's a bitch move. He's like, uh, Golden State's struggling now. I want another ring. Bye. Instead, he could have been like, you know what? I'm gonna retire here. I'm gonna take a take a pay cut. Already made millions, and millions and millions. I've been injured every season I played, and uh, yeah. I left. So you think his career is nearly over? Oh, totally. Brother, he went like 0 for 20 in the playoffs this year. Like, they didn't even make the playoffs, I don't think. In the game they needed to make the playoffs, he went like 0 for 20. I feel like he's still relatively young. How old is he, do you know? <laughs> but he might be young, but his injury list makes him like 56. Yeah, dude. So I, how old does my injury list make me? Like 36. Fuck, you think so? Nah. I think you're good. But it's also not, not just my knees, it's my ankles, too. My ankles are fucked up. Did you ever, like, check it out? Oh, no. No, no, no. But I just feel like I'm definitely... My body, I feel like, is definitely older than 24. Yeah? For sure. All the construction and all the all the injuries and shit just makes it a little bit older, huh? No, I think it's just the injuries, really. Because I think all that stuff keeps me fucking moving and grooving, keeps me oiled. Are you putting sunscreen on at work? No. Do you think you should? No. I saw a study recently of, like, <clears throat> truck drivers. It was like, oh, this guy's been a truck driver for 50 years. One side of his face is, like, completely normal, and the other side is all fucked up. Because he's always his face is always on one side of the sun. Uh-huh. Always. And they said, oh, this person applied sunscreen to every part but her neck. Look at her neck. All fucked up. And these are all people that are exposed to sun for many hours of the day. I'm not really exposed to the sun that much okay. at the moment. But you have before? I have before. Oh, I have before. And, like, you see all these, like, people that are like, oh, why are your skin so good? They're like, oh, I put on sunscreen every day. Boy, I'm already ugly as hell, boy. No, but, like, their skin. Oh, They'll apply sunscreen every day. Because you're always going to get in contact with the sun. Yeah, always, no matter what. But do you think that little contact, for example, when going out and maybe going out to your car or, like, you know walking from the parking lot to the store or whatever know. it may be. Do you think that amount of contact is enough to do it? Because the sun is definitely that strong. What do you mean? I feel like it can, it can if it's really that hot, it can, like it just, it can it'll add up. up. Yeah, okay. It just adds up. But, uh, you know, off topic, your brother's back. Almost. Almost, almost. He's here. Where would he be right now? He's probably like over... Over, like, New York right now? You think so? Yeah. Because he's a few hours away, right? You said about 5 o'clock? Yeah, I believe so. It's probably about, like, New Yorkish. Hmm. You know? Oh, no, maybe, like, Kentucky. Because Kentucky was, like, an eight-hour flight, right? He's in the Midwest area. Yes, that's where he is. He's flying over nothingness right now. He's flying over nothingness. Um. Must be fun. He's here for a month, you said, right? About a month? Totally here for a month, yeah. What you guys doing? 
What are the What are the festivities? Shows, Hell shows, of shows, shows. That's it. Shows, shows, shows. Obviously, gonna grab some good grub. No doubt about it. That's not even in question. So I feel like this works out because he's bringing his his girl his his girl with him while you're working. That's their time to go out and travel and get food and do things that she's never done before. And then the weekend's your time. Totally. She'll totally come with. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. She'll totally come with, but but. Feel like that weekend's your time because then you're not working. That's the shows, shows, shows. Yes. It'd be awesome. That's it. That's it right there. What shows do you think you're gonna take him out to? Oh well, if he's here by today, he's oh, going to Long Beach. Washers only. He's going to Long Beach. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna, gonna be so be sick. sick. I'm stoked for that show. Very excited. I'm very excited. I want to dance. I'm very excited. Besides shows, you beach. Besides shows, beach. You guys doing Six Flags again? You guys hitting Six Flags? Maybe Six Flags. That would be awesome, dude. I want. I do really want to go back to Six Flags. Did you guys have fun? I did have a lot of fun. But I feel like investing in a Fast Pass would be great. Oh, awesome. That would be awesome. You know? I think that's the move. Maybe do another little pie contest or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun, too. And fucking get gypped on the win. Huh? And get gypped on the win. Hey, honestly, our win, our win prize was way better. Totally was. It totally was. A free fast pass. Because they knew, they realized, real recognized real. She knew that he didn't fucking win, and uh, she was like, honestly, he did so good. All you guys are gonna get a fast pass. I was like, yes. No, but they were glad that we came in a party of fucking four. I just, I just, I know, because his bitch ass friends like just they, left him there. They didn't have anybody up there. They're, then they were like, "Oh, suddenly we got this party of four. Heck yeah! It's like we're almost there." It was awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. I, uh, I just vividly remember just trying to make myself throw up after that on the ride, and your brother was just crying <laughs> laughter because <laughs> I could It wouldn't come out. That was terrible, man. Imagine. I was like, <laughs> Oh, dude. And he was just like, he was just laughing his ass off. So, some poor fella that I would have landed on. I wasn't really thinking about that at the time. That's fun. I was more trying to think of if I would throw up and it would go like in a loop and <laughs> it would get up people behind me. That's fun for sure, Zs. But yeah, honestly, um, I'm happy for you because I know you miss him a lot. Yeah, man, there's a lot to do. I feel like it's going to be fun. It's awesome. Lots of lots of shows. Well, maybe you can take him out on Wednesday and go out to the midnight hour. See Ruin. I was going to go there straight after work. It's closer. I'm going to fucking drive out there. Take an Uber. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, brother, Uber to me. Or take him to work with you. Let him let him explore L.A. all day. No, nah, I'll put that. I'll put that bean to work. Honestly, I was thinking about going to the show. I could take him. Oh, totally. I, 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 could, I, I could take him. I'd be down. I'll, I'll think about it. Thoughts? Totally. Okay. Let me know. I'll totally be willing to do it. Oh, I have to get tickets ahead of time, right? Uh, not necessarily. You can get them at the door. Honestly, when I'm ready to go, I've been throwing up. I've been coughing. I'm, I'm just done. And with that being said, this has been episode 118, <laughs> Everybody, Daddy's Dungeon Podcast. Uh, it's been a pleasure being Sorry, here with y'all. you today. Um, thank you. <laughs>